Now I'm going to start by putting some white in, uh, but I'm going to make it a two-tone base colour sky. Let's see what I mean as we progress. Uh, although I'm making this up, there is a few reference pictures which I'm looking at. Uh, you can see that I'm going to take a little bit of time on this, but I want to show you all of it. Like it, is, it is very different. And this is obviously going to be a lot of brightness there. Now, then we're going to have some cloud that's going to run through here, but it's going to end up by having a lot of light just on the horizon line, including those hills that you see roughly put in. I don't know whether I'm going to change that. I might do. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put... I've got to come in with, I can't, I can't put just the white on the hills and the sky. I've got to go over the trees as well. Now let's, let's continue with that. And you'll see the high, the sky poking through, the sky, the, sky, the, the hills poking through here. And again, I'll be uh, altering that. Now that's, a, that's, I want the trees to like poke up in from the um, light here into the cloud that we're going to be putting in. And in the cloud, I'm going to use 230 as a base. Now, this is what I mean by, and you can mix the white and the 230 together when you get to there. But I want the, the hills so which are running through here might should be much lighter. So there's our clouds. I say when you're doing something like this, you can easily change your mind as you go along. But you have to, you can't. You can't um, follow a sky religiously from reference pictures. A lot of it's got to be made up. And there we are. Now that's that's the first first coat. Let's just rub that in. I'll have to put another second. I may not put a second coat on that uh, uh, grey. And it doesn't matter at all if you rub the grey and the white together. Right, so all of these distance trees, although they're going to be dark, they'll be put on top of the sky. Now you see that rubs in very well. But I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a second coat, following the same idea. Anyway, you don't want to see me do that, but that's what I shall do in a moment. And then we'll start almost straight away, start putting some colour in. And what we'll do, we'll, we'll deal with the light first. So the light's going to be here and the light's going to be through here. And then we'll put the clouds in. Now I'm dragging this all the way along here. This is ivory, remember? Um, not so much there, but from here. Up here, ivory again, because it's kind of following through. We've got a, a cloud that's going to run through here, but it, it's uh, coming out the other side of that. Uh, I want it to be quite light there. That's it. Okay. Keep it. Keep it um, light up there. I don't. I don't want the, uh, the uh, ivory to spread too far up there. Now, the next colour. This is uh, 102, and this gives us a nice, rich yellow. You see how nice that is, and that can also be put in. I've got no objection at all to it, actually. Not, I don't want to put it over the top of the grey, but I don't mind it filtering into the grey. Yeah, it looks good at the moment. OK, that's uh, the ivory. Now, we're going to... Uh, I'm going to need a little bit of orange now. 
109 and a little bit of orange just to put in to this section of the skies. I didn't put any over here, did I? But I need to. This is a 102 again. And just a little bit of orange so that can, that can creep creep along here. And a good idea really, is, and rather than use your finger, is to use your colour shaper here. Because it's just a little bit more direct. With your finger everything will spread, but with the colour shaper you can see already it's beginning to look quite attractive. And we can, we'll be adding more of that as we go on, but that is that's a, good, that's a good beginning. Up here, this has got ivory, uh, uh, orange in it, which is 109 again. But it's not quite as strong as it is down there. It's just like a hint, really, more than anything else. And that can be blended as well. Great. So far, so good. You're building up the sky, you see. That's what we're doing. We're, we're, we're getting to, we obviously got to put all the light areas in first because then we can bring the dark areas over the top. But really in here, I'm going to put some gray. Now this is the gray, uh, what, 230, which I was using as a base color. But now I'm going to add it and put it into the sky. a little bit more pressure on this to create the effect I want. Now, another colour I want to use is the, I can find it, here we are, here we are, this is the one. Now this is 169, now this is a very fierce colour, but what we can do with it, let me just do, show you a little bit what we can do with this, is to add it on to what we're doing there, just a, just a, just a smidgen, and again, blend it. Now you see how rich that is, if you if you use it like I'm using it there, nice and soft. In fact, probably a good idea to use your finger there, to smooth it in, and we want that all the way along. Just a hint. We'll be putting it in the clouds a little later on, but I, I and on top of that, in fact, let's try another experiment here. I want to put it in a little stronger there, and. Uh, Go up here too. Now I've added a little bit more and rub with your finger. The reason I'm saying with your finger is because what you can do with this is to get a bit more pressure on it. You can't do it with a colour shaper. And whilst I was using the colour shaper down here to very good effect, up here I just wanted this to be more, more vague. You see, you see how that's looking? That's really, really nice. That's exactly what I was looking for. So that's terrific. 